Stop crying. When are you going to grow up and be like the others? And now children, get a full blossomed rose on the first day of school. Grow it yourself in a pot over the holidays. And no cheating or you know the consequences. Am I clear? Yes, teacher. <laughs> Why bother? I'll pluck a rose from the school garden itself and still get an A plus for it. Grow it? Are you kidding me? I'll just buy a full grown one from the bazaar. <laughs> this one is sweeter than Nalini teacher. No thanks. When will you ever grow up like other children? And start having toffees? It's not funny. Huh? I know it is not funny. It is sweet. Try it. I just feel like running away. Child line. Ten, nine, eight. Hey, buddy. Hey, come. Come join us, yaar. Let's play. Okay. Good. Fine. Keep it up. What nonsense is this? Uh, teacher, the, the, the rose was not listening to me. So, so I taught it a les lesson to make it grow. Uh, Stop! What? Do you want the caning instead? No, teacher. You cannot hit us. It's against child rights. What do you mean by child rights? It's my right in this classroom. My right. Child line. Money has been a difficult good for nothing kid. He will thank me someday. Harsh disciplining affects the child physically, mentally and emotionally. Are you surely can't forget the old adage? Spare the rod, spoil the child. Do you know that as per the Right to Education Act, corporal punishment is banned. Physical violence against children is a crime. Discipline through fear leads to low self-esteem, mistrust and misery. Children sometimes run away. They discontinue studies. Does that serve our purpose of disciplining? These roses blossom differently. Some slower than the others. But it doesn't mean that the slow ones are not putting their 100% effort. Like these roses, each child is unique and beautiful. Hey, buddy. Allow the child space, time and compassion to blossom. <laughs> Don't worry. I will take care of your rose. I will make sure it grows just as bright as you.